All right, guys, so I hope you have your crystals ready because this January 18th at 14 UTC, which is 8 a.m. Pacific time, and then as well as 11 a.m. Eastern time, depending where you guys live, you guys can simply just translate that on Google. But guys, you know, we are getting brand new characters with an S, and there's a lot of stuff to talk about in this video. I'm going to break, it, you know, pretty much everything down from A through Z, absolutely every single scenario that we might see uh, for this reveal. Now, we might get a LF unit. I, I, if I had to toss out a, a like, percentage, I would say like 90% uh, we're bound to get an LF but you know there's some stuff that's you know kind of keeping me away from thinking we might get an LF and I'll discuss that in just one bit but guys let's try to get into the video so you know there, there is a tunnel vision of characters or specific tags that we've been hinted uh, that you know could potentially come as the next LF unit, which is on this reviews and stuff. Now, uh, let's just really quickly discuss the four specific characters I believe has a really good chance. Now, just because these characters I'm mentioning, you know, have a good chance doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to come out. So let's just break down the first possibility here, which you guys see. And everybody's just not, it's not just me. It's everybody, you know, probably your dogs, your grandmothers, everybody's guessing Bardock uh, to come because we did indeed just get the chilled raid. And uh, you guys know know that in the chilled raid the most buffs that you guys can get here is off of these bardocks or anything anime's original sagas really but bardocks are the go-to's because he did you know fight chilled he's the only character that fought chilled so you know it's an anime's original saga it's where bardock originally went super saiyan versus chilled now that right there to me signals a very strong possibility now we do have multiple bardocks already uh, you know we have base bardocks and I hate these pop-ups, but we have base Bardocks, we have, you know, uh, uh, Super Saiyan Bardocks, and we have one transforming Bardock, but it's just from a base to a kind of just angry, buffed-out Bardock, which is the red one right here that we guys see. Now, what we don't have is a base Bardock transformed to a Super Saiyan Bardock, and if you guys know, when he did fight Chilled, he did go Super Saiyan for the first time, or the only time versus Bardock, really, so, I mean, uh, versus Chilled, so, you know, this is probably one of the most guessed, you know, uh, guesses, I would say, for the next LF unit, and he's, and he doesn't have an LF, so we also have to think about, you know, like, what's the next characters that, you know, have to get an LF that simply doesn't have one, so Bardock is for sure on my list, on my number one list, actually, so uh, we have multiple guesses as well, another one we have to go off of here is, you know, Broly, now, uh, Broly is another good one floating around, just because he is Saga's, and we are getting a few equipments, guys, we did just get a few equipments here, now let me show you really quick, so the equipment that we got obviously is this unique equipment which is um uh, sagas from the movies and it's yellow and you guys can see bardock i mean not bardock broly is on the cover of this uh unique equipment here now this has happened before with anime original sagas you know where we saw you know bardock on the cover and bardock didn't end up showing up so that right there is a good possibility of happening of you know of them just kind of tricking us because sometimes the signals all there and they just go completely the opposite way so we never know what might or might not come so remember none of this is confirmed but uh all we can go off is guesses speculations and hints so yeah you know this is sagas and yellows and also there's another one right here for uh super saiyan sagas which has broly as well now why are all these you know equipments coming out of nowhere really like super saiyan sagas this does kind of buff super saiyan um you know uh, I, I i mean um my bad this one right here it's kind of taking a long time to load but this one right here kind of buffs super saiyan blue uh gogeta now uh whether or not that's just specifically for him i don't know but these both have the dbz bardock specifically on the cover now let's just really quick take a look now we do have a multitude of brolies obviously you know brolies are absolutely everywhere in this game we've got a bunch of zankai brolies we got an lf broly and this full power um you know full power movies broly here from the from you know uh the uh <laughs> the broly movie uh with super saiyan blue goku Vegeta. now uh, we did just get this Broly recently here, but these are all DBS Brolies. We rarely have DBZ Brolies. I believe we have more DBS Brolies than DBZ Brolies. Let's see. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five. No, no, no. Six. And then one, two, three, four. Uh, let's see here. I think five. I, yeah, I probably miscounted that, but yeah, we do have more, you know, it's about even, I'd say, but we don't have a DBZ, you know, uh, Broly that's, you know, um, an LF. So that right there is a really, really good possibility. And by the way, guys, I've mentioned this previously on my other videos as well, that, you know, we are, you know, we are getting a hint in terms of the free-to-play freezer we already got. Now, I mentioned this plenty of times in my videos, and if you guys are new to my channel, 
uh, you guys probably know um, that we did just get this free to play Frieza here. And you know, from what the hints as of late, the previous three free to play units has told us was that it all correlated to their specific tags. For example, it all started here with this kid boo. Now this kid boo here, um, you know, uh, he's obviously region powerful opponent. We ended up getting LF cell and then follow that. We ended up getting, you know, this free to play Rose, which is arguably probably the best free to play unit to be honest with you guys. And we ended up getting a uh, future here uh, and they actually fought versus each other as well. So, and then we got uh, Winter Kogoku and Ultra Gogeta. So, and now we're going to get, you know, this specific uh, Frieza here, which did fight Bardock, by the way. Uh, and we don't know what the next unit might be. Now, this specific Frieza, you know, he holds uh, Frieza Forest, Lineage of Evil, Anime's Original Sagas, and Powerful Opponent. Now, uh, specifically, you know, that, you know, it, that's a lot of tags, right? Let's just cancel out Powerful Opponent because, you know, Lineage of Evil, Frieza Force, and Anime Original Sagas is kind of the tunnel vision we have here, guys. Now, if we look at Lineage of Evil, does it need help? 100%, absolutely. That's exactly why they invented Powerful Opponent. Uh, just because Lineage of Evil is pretty much, you know, it's, it's a very thin tag. There's not too much to go off of Lineage of Evil, to be honest. It's just freezes and coolers and a chilled uh, pretty much. But there are a, a whole bunch of Frieza forms, um, you know, uh, different types of forms. So that counts for something, I guess. And Frieza Force is another one because that free-to-play Frieza dishes out Frieza Force. Now, we've been getting actually some buffs for Frieza Force. You know, we got this Broly and Chilai. We recently just got this Nappa not too long ago. And we got uh, the green Broly that just came out right now for Black Friday. But he doesn't dish out the tag, but he is Frieza Force. Now, if we just take a look at Anime Original Sagas, this is where it's all at, guys. I believe something's going to come out out of Original Sagas, Anime's Original Sagas, in my opinion. Uh, Bardock, obviously, you know or a Lineage of Evil Frieza Force, you know, Frieza unit. So there's not, like I said at the beginning of the video, we have a tunnel vision to go off of here. And no, we're not going to get a Yamcha <laughs> because this Tidings Bazewall Yamcha technically is a, um, he's a uh, Empicon too. Uh, they're both anime's original sagas and the Kaioken Goku as well. So, uh, but yeah, you know, there's not much to go off of here, guys. Now, in the beginning of the video, when I mentioned to you guys whether or not we're going to get an LF, there's a 90% chance we might get an LF, you know, and that's a really good chance, and I believe we will get an LF, uh, but all in all, guys, uh, the videos and stuff specifically did say that, you know, we're getting multiple characters, you know, long-awaited characters, by the way, which I want to cover in just one bit now, uh, you know, characters is not the trend as of late for, except for Black Friday and Christmas, but uh, not as of late of uh, f recent Steppo banners because Steppo banners as of late just hasn't had multiple characters. You know, it's just one single LF. That's been the trend as of late. Now, that obviously could change, but that's the trend as of late. Now, um, you know, Frieza is a good possibility. I don't know what form of Frieza. It could be any Frieza or it could be a cooler or it could be a uh, Broly, DBZ Broly in specific or it could be a Bardock. Now, those are the specific four characters I'm betting on, guys. I'm betting on. And, um, you know, this is all going to be revealed very soon. And, um, you know, I hope they make them good because uh, the standards for characters are really, really high at, the, at, at this point in time. So, uh, we have that. And, by the way, don't get your hopes up on this specific, uh, you know, thing right here where it says some long-awaited new characters. Because last time, last time they mentioned that... It was, um, you know, we ended up getting uh, Vados and, um, you know, Champa, which are good characters, but it got our hopes up and the community was so disappointed when we saw Vados and Champa. So uh, that was an all-star banner. So, and we haven't had an all-star banner in a very long time. So that's also a very good possibility on its own. But guys, that is going to wrap up the video. You know, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make this video really quick for you guys because I have a lot to do today. I got to go get a haircut because I got a helmet. And by the way, if you guys want to enter a giveaway, I'm coming out. I'm recording a ton of videos for my brand new YouTube uh, where I teach you guys how to earn with play to earn games. Uh, you guys can earn money while gaming at the same time uh, through play to earn NFT games, which is really fun. You guys can game and actually earn money. So and I'm doing a giveaway on my next video as well. So, guys, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up the video. You know, I'll keep you guys updated with this and I'll definitely catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.